It is now five years since Studio Hopper released the game Desert Order, which also started this YouTube channel. Even today, many players still consider Desert Order to be the best balanced of all the games from Ditto Games, as the publisher is now called. With my Power Start series, I wanted to show what a player can achieve on their own and, above all, how they can achieve it. In 14 entertaining videos, I went from the start on the then new map 291 to the point where I decided to join an alliance. In the first video, I show how to capture the first bases near the home base and how to hold your own against other players who also want these bases. The second video then shows how I took the first bases in the strategically important center of the map and conquered the first airports. You can no longer capture new player bases in Desert Order once you have five bases. The third video in this historical series shows how to deal with this and how the first bases grow together. By the end of this episode, I had conquered 20 bases in four hours of gameplay. Episode 4 then deals with a strategic orientation and explains that growth alone isn't enough. The bases should be connected to each other in order to be able to send supplies. The aim is to control rivers and railroads and prevent the enemy from achieving these goals for themselves. Episode 5 then shows how the previously defined objectives are then implemented step by step. Meanwhile, battles are already very versatile with airplanes, boats and on land. In further videos, I conquered bases along the railroad line and divided the map into two parts. To my left, the XX Top Gun XX Alliance in particular managed to hold their ground. To my right, I encountered the Omega 48 Alliance. The SSSR Alliance was represented on both sides and had massive problems getting groups from one side to the other. In the then following episodes, I show that I was able to hold my own against these alliances as a single player, but in the long run, I couldn't be online day and night, so I inevitably had to choose an alliance. My choice at the time was the Omega 48 alliance. This left me with just one front and effectively decided the battle and this map. The rest was just a bit of hard work. When I joined the Alliance, it also became clear that this is a team game and that individual players can only hold their own for a short time. You can only be strong together. Things would be a little different today. In contrast to back then, some Alliances today would already have numerous conquered maps from which they could bring endless supplies. A new starting single player would therefore possibly have a much more difficult time. With today's video, I would like to remind you of the birth of Desert Order. Some players have fond memories of the early days. The video series shows new players how they can develop in the game. But unlike in the video, I particularly recommend players without money to form an alliance with like-minded players early on. That's when it's the most fun.